We're going to start by looking at the native camera app on the iPhone. Let's have a look at time lapse. Time lapse takes a series of images over a set amount of time. So if I just focus on this apple here and I click the time lapse button, you'll see it has a countdown timer and that is taking one image every time that circle is completed. So let's just move over to slow motion. Slow motion does exactly what it says. When I click that, it films in slow motion. So if I go around here like this, and here's the video, and as you can see, it's in super slow motion. So the camera is moving around. Slow motion is great for capturing action and making sure the camera's smooth. And let's just clip over to video. So video again does exactly what it says. It just records video. So I've just clicked the button and as you can see, just recording, here's the clip. Excellent photo, just takes a photo and you'll notice the viewer changes. And I've just taken a photo there. Portrait, so what portrait does is it adds a blur in the background. So it separates your subject from the background. Again, there's a photo. And pano means panorama. So if I turn that round and I press the button, you'll see I move my camera and that starts to create a panoramic image. And just go back to the way we were. Back to photo, video, fabulous. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the features here. In here, we have a grid on the screen. This directly relates to something called the rule of thirds. If I record now, I have the apple in the left side between the grids. That just stops us framing the subject in the center, which makes an image much more interesting when I'm looking at it as a viewer. So again, I can use these frame guides to frame my subject when I'm filming on my smartphone. At the top, you'll notice a timer. So now it's at 30, 31. That is telling me how long I've been recording for. Really, really useful when I'm making films. I can see exactly how much I'm recording and how much storage I'm taking up. In the top left corner of your phone, what you will see is you will see a number. So it might say 4K24. When it says 4K24, that means it's 4,000 pixels and 24 frames per second. 24 frames per second is a cinema equivalent. So that's when you watch a film at the cinema or you watch a film on TV. So that's a really quick introduction into what the native camera app interface looks like. All that's left to do now is to go out, start filming some content, start shooting some material, look at it, examine it, use your rule of thirds, use test your slow-mo, test your time-lapse, test your 4K and see what kind of storage capacity that's using. And I'll see you in the next session where we will be looking at the Moment app.